Hey everybody, it's R.S. Leafy and I've got a tech it tutorial for you guys. Uh, today we are going to do a hydro flower. And if you're not familiar with the term, uh, basically it's going to be infinite energy. So you can actually, these machines from a past tutorial, uh, you can run one of these off of this uh, new contraption that I'm going to show you. And that's what I did on my server. I put this whole machine underground, and it runs fine. Aside from the fact that this is a little buggy on servers. But basically, f well, first thing you want to do is dig a 5x5 five five hole. And that's simply to put the water in. It's 4, 5, okay. And... By the way, this is all the materials we need. A build craft pump, energy link, a energy storage, 17 water strainers, 6 golden waterproof pipes, uh, ultra, ultra low current, some water for the source, and some form of power to get this started. In this case, I'm just using a generator and some coal. But we basically just want to fill this up with water and whoops well uh, not quite just spam click it a bit and there we go you don't want any flowing parts uh, you just want s source blocks for all of it and now we can start actually setting this up. So you want to put your pump in the middle of the water area and as you can see it has a little thing coming down there and that's actually the pump part. So now what you want to do is you want to take your golden conductive pipes and put them like this. So two on each side except for the front. And now we need to place the water strainers. So there's going to be uh, two in the front like this, three like this, and whoops, not there. and like this. Now the best thing I like about this is you can actually expand it or uh, shrink it for your needs. Uh, you can get as big as one as you want as long as the current that you'll be seeing later is staying. Um, but all, you know, you can make it as big as you want, you just need more conductive pipes and stuff like that. But this is a very good setup. And now we're going to place the energy link in the middle of the four. And our um, energy storage unit goes right there. And as you can see the pump is actually completely hidden. So now it's time for the wiring up. Uh, now this is going to be a bit confusing but um, you, you just do it like this I mean there, there's really nothing else I can say other than that um, you oh I need one here and one but as you can see there, um, you just put two there, two there, three there, one there, three there, three there, three there, and then just connect them all. And now it is actually done. Uh, but you might be curious because it's not producing anything. But that's where this gets started, where the uh, energy source gets started. So all you need to do is hook up your energy source to 
the energy link. So as I said in this case I'm using a generator and coal but you might want to use solar some, anything. And now you can see it working and we can quickly destroy that and not even worry about that. Now it's done. That's all it is to that that's all that it is. Okay. So this will go on forever. You I mean you can see it kind of it sucks up the water and then it replenishes it. So in the rare, 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 rare chance that all of them get sucked up at almost the exact same time and they all just go, that can happen, but it's super rare that you don't even have to worry about it unless you're on a server, which I'll get back to in a minute. But as you can see, we're getting quite a decent amount of energy just from nothing. And as I said, it'll go on forever. Now about the server on this, you, I was saying that, you know, you can see the water blocks disappearing and then reappearing. On a server, if you have much lag, the blocks won't respawn as fast, so you actually have more of a chance for all the blocks to disappear. I tried using a world anchor. Um, etc but it, it just didn't work and it yeah I mean <laughs> it just wasn't working uh, but I finally got all of the water to stay except the only problem was only one of these water strainers was on and it was this top one here not exactly sure why that happened but it happened and I actually it was when I had it hooked up to this machine and one water strainer was enough to power this whole machine so that's pretty decent but thanks for watching guys uh, if you want to see more Tekkit tutorials be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching see ya